Guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. I just want to put out a couple updates um, today with these videos. One of these updates is the inverted fluid. Um, so basically, I've had this, if you guys look below this um, inverter fluid, I guess, seeping out. Very slow seep. It's a very so, slow seep. Um, and hasn't been too bad. The reason why it hasn't been too bad is that the main reason for that is that uh, there is uh, anti leak. Toyota's anti leak radiator fluid, I think. Or um, because as you guys can see, it actually crystallizes uh, once it gets out. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly where it's coming out from but it seems like this area where this little uh where the where the nipple comes out of that's where it's coming out of but outside of that i don't actually see it leaking from anywhere else and all i did was pretty much fill this up to the full mark uh if you guys don't know about ready food from toyota i think they're like 30 bucks a bottle relatively expensive Considering I buy the, the uh, I wouldn't say cheap stuff, but expensive stuff from Walmart. Um, you know, regular radiator fluid from Walmart is like eight bucks. AutoZone is like twelve to fifteen. Uh, Toyota stuff is like thirty bucks, which is, I mean, if you're doing like a drain job on 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 radiator drain or any kind of drain, the uh, the fluid for the inverter is the same fluid for the radiator itself, and I mean, I, I was thinking, really thinking about buying the uh, the fluid. The uh, originally, I did, I didn't think they were the same thing because I used regular radiator fluid for the radiator, but the inverter fluid I was told used the same kind of coolant, so I went and used that for that because you know better OEM stuff than uh, the non OEM stuff, but. It's been working out. I mean, I haven't. Uh, I've uh, done some research on on the some of the gaskets leaking. It's not leaking out too much or at all. Minimal, if you think about it. I haven't actually worried about it. I'm probably not going to worry about it. Originally, I had considered about maybe taking out the uh, the assembly and changing up the gasket. But uh, I waged against that because it's not it's not actually uh, leaking out too much at all. So I guess this uh, this update is gonna be I've had this and I found out about this issue maybe eight months ago, and um, all I did was pretty much uh, pretty much fill this up. And uh, I, I last time I filled this up was. I would say maybe a, about a, a month ago. Um, I'm not. I don't actually fill it up every month, but since I was working on the fan itself, and I had to take the radiator hose off, my, when I when I was filling up stuff, I, I, was, I was looking at this. I might as well fill it up all the way, which I which I did fill it up all the way, and uh, I probably won't have to worry about this. Maybe I'll, I'll maybe I I'll, I'll need to you know put a little bit in every four or five months but all in all I, I haven't actually had to worry about this at all um, if you guys have the same issue probably not not the biggest of problems you're not gonna you know you're not gonna need um, to redo the gaskets uh, originally what I had thought was maybe I would consider Maybe putting epoxy around it since this does not get hot enough to actually degrade the epoxy. I was thinking about maybe putting the epoxy over it, but it's probably, I'm probably not going to do that considering, I'm probably not going to do that considering it's not, it's not, it's not a huge problem. It's probably not going to be a huge problem. It's not a huge problem. Probably not going to be a huge problem at all. So... 
Uh, if you guys have any comments, please leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All right, guys. Take care.